Hi, I'm Lana, and this is the butterfly quilt, which I designed, but I'm not going to talk about the butterfly quilt design today. What I'm going to talk to you about is another tool, and that's the carry ruler, a tool that I created to help me put the bindings on my quilts with sewn mitered corners on both sides of the binding. This is what I wanted on my quilt. I wanted sewn mitered corners. And so I created this tool. It's simple, it's easy, and I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, let's get going. We're going to make our binding the way you usually make binding. And that is that you cut your strip. Mine is two and a half inches wide. It says that on the carry ruler for a three-eighths inch binding. And of course the strip will not be long enough because I'm making binding for a twin size bed. So you need to join them. You do the diagonal join. For those of you that don't know how to make the diagonal join. You take your fabric, your strip, you lay the another joining strip on top of it. You take a pen. I use a fusible marker and you make the line from corner to corner so that down that line, trim it at an eighth of an inch, press it open. When you press it open, you have a diagonal. That spreads the thickness in your binding so you don't have a big lump like a straight one would. You have a nice. Okay, and then like regular binding, so far the same, we take our wrong sides and we iron them edge to edge together. We're going to take our binding cloth and we're going to pin it to our quilt. This is the front side of the quilt that I'm working on. I'm going to take my binding strip, allow about an inch from the edge, give me an inch from the edge, and then I pin it on edge to edge. And I'm going to sew it at a 3 8 inch seam. When you're sewing, you stop 3 8 of an inch from the edge, coming from both directions, so you have an open 3 8 of an inch at the corner. So on the front, so edge to edge, 3 8 of an inch seam, stop 3 8 of an inch from the edge with a 1 inch overlap in both directions. Okay, you're going to take the two strips from side to side. You're going to bring them together at the end of the corners. At the cor bring them together at the corners. Bring your two edges together all the way up. So they lie together. You can press that so you have them right together and it flat, which helps. Then you take the carry ruler. So far you've been doing about the same thing you usually do and you up and down. So this time you take the carry ruler. It has a red line that goes down the edge of the binding fabric and a red line that goes down the edge of the binding fabric has a black line that sits on your seam line and then you take your pen you are going to make the four dots that are in the carry ruler there they are, one, two, three, four then I use the carry ruler and I connect these dots with a line. This line is your sewing line. Okay, dot to dot to dot. There's my sewing line. I am going to pin this where I'm just working with the binding. I'm going to pin this together and then I'm going to sew just down that line that I just drew only on the binding. Okay. When you have marked and drawn your dots, something to kind of look for is that this dot should be on your seam line or pretty doggone close to your seam line. This line should be on or below, that dot should be on or below your seam line. And this one should be at about the top. You can see that on my sewing machine, using small stitches, I started on the edge here, and make sure you start right where your mark is and catch that edge. And I sewed, you can back tack here if you want, sewed to the point, pivoted, sewed to the point, and pivot, 
sew to the point and pivot with small stitches. Okay, now we're going to trim. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to trim it at about an eighth of an inch above where we have sewn. And that's a little big. Oh, I'm a little bit smaller so I don't have too much fatness in there. Trim it again. I'm going to free it by cutting into this part right here. Where the V is. So that's open. I'm going to cut off the tip pretty close to the top so that my point is not too full. And then I'm going to turn it so I don't have fullness in the other point. I'm going to cut off the tip at the back. Okay. This is still a little fatter than I like it. I'm going to trim out a little bit of that. An eighth of an inch. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you are going to turn it. I'm going to flip it. Poke up the point. Or pull up the point with a pin. I have a great tool for this. The scissors are not it. You don't want to poke a hole, so don't do this. This is very bad. Bad, bad, very bad. Don't do this. What you do is you end up with your mountain, and you open it up. You have a sewn mitered corner on the front. Okay. Zoom in a little bit on that. You see your sewn mitered corner on the front? And when you flip it over, you have a sewn mitered corner on the back. And we tuck in the fullness and bring your binding back over your sew line and take a pin. We pin it. Bring it on this side, tuck it in, bring it over. And you have a sewn mitered corner on this side. Pin it. So what you have is a sewn mitered corner on this side on the front when you flip it over and tuck the back in you have a sewn mitered corner on the back and I baste and usually what I do is just pin the back down and uh, do a hem stitch around the outside some people are good and can stitch in the ditch or have creative decorative stitches that they use when they sew down their binding. Not I. I am just a plain baster. I just pin a base down. And there you have the butterfly quilt with the purple binding with sewn mitered corners on both sides fast and easy. Carry ruler.